Hey friends, let me tell you a little bit more about using Obsidian and Para. So uh, what I want to do is let's take a quick look at that base uh, Obsidian installation that we did and where we've got our projects, P, areas, A, resources, R, A, archives. So what I want to do is go through real quick um, how to, how do you use that structure and what do you do with it? And the, the big idea is this, is that we're going to organize for actionability. We're going to organize by time. And, um, when I share my sort of to do system, it's almost identical. And the beauty of focusing on time is that it is, it's universal. Like you can argue why things are important from a dozen different directions, but time is time. And if we get a handle on our urgency, then it's actually really calming. So let's take a quick look at how we do that in uh, Obsidian, how that helps us get organized. So when I create a project, this is something that's goal oriented. I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna give it the name project. And there's a reason I do this. So let's say the project is Obsidian Video, okay? And why I do that is when a project is finished, I'm going to move it into the archives and it's going to lose this structure. So giving it a name makes it easier to find in my archives later. So that I'm like, what was that project? Oh, it was the Obsidian project. And they're all going to be grouped together in a giant list. Once you make that folder, then I'm going to make a note. Um, I tend to use an underscore to then say, Project uh, Obsidian Video. Um, bit redundant. You can call it what you want. It could be Project Plan. Um, but but here's the main point. There's sort of this anchor or home note um, that you're going to work with. And I'll give you some tools to make this much, much more powerful. But when you're starting a new project, one of the things you can do is whatever project planning process you like to use, you can create a template for that. And then you might be able to say, well, what are my goals? And you can list your goals, um, you know, get it done on time. Um, I want it to be useful. Um, you know, basically they're notes, but where this gets, we're going to see in a minute where this gets really powerful is what I call branches. Um, and this is going to be the beginning of the list of notes that branch out from this main note. And what we're going to be able to do is start creating other nodes under this directory that you can access them from this main home node or index file, whatever you want to call it. And this allows us to begin to unlock the power of linked notes. So for me, there's sort of this top-down structure of para, create a project, same thing for an area, same thing for a resource. And make a folder under it, make it easy to find later when I archive it and I'm done with it. Um, and then I begin filling it out. And there's sort of this idea of, for me, an index or a home note that always sorts alphabetically at the top of a list. So um, that is an example. So I'm give you a different one. I'm just going to repeat this exact same process. I get this will feel a little redundant, but let's make a folder and say one of my areas uh, is that I'm a father. Okay. And I'm going to put a folder in that area and it's going to say the same thing, uh, area father. And it might sound silly, but one of the things that in my, uh, father area is I have little files on all of my kids' cars. Like just think about all the detail. Where do you keep that stuff? Right. And as long as they're owning the car, it's like, okay, what's the VIN number on it? What's the make and model? And maybe you could go create a whole database that's only focused on cars. I'm like, I don't need that, right? It's what are the things that I'm you know, connected to with my kids that's important to them? My daughter's college, boom, that's an area that is could branch out from under her. And you might think of a dozen other things, like, oh, soccer practice or the team, or like now you have a home for information that you can drop in relation to the area of your life. And maybe you'll create a folder for each of your kids and say, nope, I want a folder for my daughter, my son, 
But the same general concept is you're creating a folder that's going to contain that information that everything you need in that context. So think of it this way. You're creating a little context to store useful information.